GLHF, but 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 did don't die. Well, I mean, the point of the game is to kill your opponent, though, so I feel like that's not something you want to no, be. the points to make him quit out. You need to crush his morality. It's very rare in a StarCraft game where you actually have to kill all the buildings to win. You typically just demoralize them, and then, like, dance on their grave until they leave. Alright. So, uh, spawning in the south position, we have the pink Terran playing for Trinity Cephas. And in the north, we've got the red Zerg playing for CSU. And that is M-I-X, or I'm going to just say Mix. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd agree with that. No, no, it's somebody called Mikes. Mikes. Um, <laughs> this map is incredibly difficult later on, as they're just because these gold bases in this tower, it's just oh, so yeah. easy to, to secure the center of the map as Terran, that once you actually do manage to push out and make that presence out in the midfield, there's not a whole lot Zerg can do. However, up until it gets to that point, the map's just so open that it's really easy for Zerg to get surrounds and flanks and everything else without many map obstacles hindering them. Yeah, definitely the siege tanks are going to be key and where you position those in this map. Um, that's the one I usually have trouble with. Yeah, we, we may see uh, Zerg make some links here, start working down these back rocks for his attack path later on once... Terran's wanting to take his third, so we can't deny that as long as possible. Uh, let's see, we got Cephas here going for one Rex now. And it doesn't look like he's going to be opening up with a two Rex, though. Okay, and looks like we've got MIX sending out a nice drone scout right around 14. And it looks like we're going to see a 15 hatch going down. Yes, we are. 15 hatch going down for MIX. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of times very, very difficult. It's the whole reason for this drone scout is just to see, oh, am I getting two wrecks here early? Is it 11-11? You know, am I about to die? Do I need to pull all my drones off? And right. Et cetera. But he's just going to scout the front, and then this just brings up another little fear. Because you don't know what Sevis is doing behind this wall. He's going to try and whittle away at that supply depot. But yeah. I'm pretty sure the Marines going to be able to clean that up. All he can see right now is Cephas just is a barracks and two supply depots. Not much information for you there. And no, not a lot. You don't know if it's going to be Banshee's Blue Flame. You don't know if it's going to be 18,000 racks behind that wall. Cephas scouting the you know, east side. First, nothing happening there, and it looks like he's going to be checking out the Zerg base next. Yeah, he did see that Overlord, I'm pretty sure, so it should tip him off to exactly where Zerg's coming from. That's right. And we got Cephas here. His gas just now finishing. And Zerg's gas hasn't been going for very long either. They both seem to be on pretty level footing. Almost equal harvesters, and, and we have a really what is this? early yeah. command center here. Looks like... Uh, going to be macro, or if he's going to be going you know, straight for the expansion after it finishes. In response to this early hatch, we see this, double ex or this extra expo going down, and... Yeah, it looks like he's got rallied to the minerals inside his base right now. I don't know if that's going to change. It'd be weird to see a... Two command center play off one base. I don't know, dude. Terran. I mean, Terran can mine at almost two base capacity with those mules from two command centers. True. It's pretty insane. Then the SCV production can almost keep up. I'd say you stay pretty well ahead of Zerg's economy if you manage to actually get it off the ground. Yeah. And you got a nice hidden racks here in case something does come in. And he's complaining that wall off with supply depots. Now, I've dipped my foot into Terran a couple times, and, like, I do the Supply Depot Barracks, Supply Depot Wall. Right. And then every time I actually get to Siege Tanks and whatnot, like, my Siege Tanks just can't leave. Like, you, you lower Supply Depot, but the tank just can't fit through there, so... I don't know, it never occurred to me to just move the barracks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Nice little, nice little insight into the life of a Terran. Although, I wish you'd do something with this SCV. It's just sort of... Checking out the view of the natural base here. Well, you know, I mean, it's going to be the first uh -oh. line of defense <laughs> against that Zergling coming in. His friend's almost dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get up there. He's dead, Jim. He got one range on himself to hunt down that Zergling. And with that linksing those Marines, it looks like a spine crawler goes down for Mix. But nothing yeah, else. He still isn't quite sure what's going to happen out of out of uh, stuff is here. I'm really not I mean, quite he, sure he what's happening at a mix. 
Like, we've got a spawning pool, no layer tech, just drones and queens. We got a third queen going down. Yeah, he's zerging it up. I wouldn't be surprised to see a fast third go down in this case. I don't know, he's... Well, okay. Obviously you're right. You saw that drone. I hate you, but... <laughs> he's back in gas. I did not see that uh, drone, he's actually. He's gas. He's got... He's going for gas now. He's been looking at ramping up some aggression here. Just go ahead and secure that third. I'm expecting a bailing nest. There it is. Is he going to Roach Warren? No, that is an Evo chamber. So I guess he's going for quick plus one bans. Bad, or he's just scared of Banshee play. Oh, and by the way, a CSU viewer wants to correct you. Tanks do fit out of a Depot Racks Depot wall. Really? Yes. So. Not my tanks. <laughs> I'm going to go in and test that as soon as this is done. <laughs> well, your tanks are extra large tanks, I guess. And, oh, man, the Marines just able to get in those bunkers to hold off that Ling pressure. I uh, hear Marines are pretty good against Zerglings. Especially when they're so. in bunkers. <laughs> Just gonna like, throw that out one there. Bunker, one bunker took 16 damage and half the Lings died. <laughs> that is a sad day to be a Zerg player. And, uh, yeah, those SCVs are gonna be able to easily repair that 16 damage, so... As, uh, Day9 yeah, nice would say, bunkers are free. Attack. Oh, yeah, they are. They were really close. <laughs> uh... Like, I, I, don't, I don't see why, when Bunkers had 100% refund, if one was, like, on fire after battle, why didn't just salvage it and build a new one instead of spending money to repair? True. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... Okay, so it looks like the so, timing... It, it just feels a little late here. He's going to lay that Bane speed. I'm assuming he's going for Spire. Otherwise, this gas just does not make a lot of sense to me. But he's staying pretty on top of his injects. He's I think he's missed floating. one in his main... He's floating a lot of gas, a lot of minerals right now. Um, but he's, well, it, I don't know. It's it's too early for him to be floating everything. I feel like. But his third's just now getting up and running. Wouldn't be surprised if he took the gases there right about. And now. there's the spire that you were talking about going down right now. Not so, sure how thing, it's gonna it work like out. Crawler? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> I've. I've I played some ZVZs, and I'll think that they're just building spores in their base. And it looks like we got Thors coming in fire. from Cephas, so I don't know how well this Spire is going to go for Mix here. Oh, this is a big drop. He's going straight for the lair. This is going to be interesting. But there's not a lot to deal with this. He could actually just stand there and kill every single lane. Quite possibly, but he's going to play it safe. Fly back to the natural. And no, he changes oh, his nice mind. Date. Nope. This is a nice Zergling split there, although those natural Zerglings, they could easily be taken out. That Queen's trying to wait and snipe off some of those medevacs, and doing a nice job. Just... These drones still aren't mining. Yeah. That is a lot of mine time loss. And the medevacs get out with pretty much all their life. I'm not sure if you lost much of anything there. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good play by Cephas there. He's probably going to get a free Overlord here, too. We'll and see if that's what he's doing. It would be nice, but is the Spire done yet? It the is. Spire is done, and nine Mutas on the way, using up all of that extra gas that he had. But we do have one Thor in the field, another just now finishing up. We're going to have a... Oh, wow. Well, Mix is incredibly supply blocked. If he loses these over, he's just going to set him back a good deal. What do we got back at Cephas Film's base? We have two Thors... And a nice save there. Hangs on to three quarters of his marines from the Zerglings. And oh, this is just rude. Oh. He not be able to drop on that ledge. That is, that is, that is, so that is cruel. <laughs> that is, yeah. I'm so glad the siege tanks haven't been dropped there against me. So <laughs> I, wonder if this ledge, I wonder if this ledge can see up to this high ground or not. Like, is this like a half step that you can see? That's a good question. Or is it a completely different level? But man, I don't know. I haven't. I've never really thought to drop there. That is one cruel drop. And it looks like he gets to come home after all that drop rass, only losing one marine. And with the marine Thor mix, I mean, those mutas are going to be practically worthless. And it looks like he sees them. Turds to move out. 
Stims the Marines, but they're not going to be able to catch up with the Mutas. Loses some health there, but he has the Medivacs to take care of it. Mix the fly cap again here. And come here and comes the Marine push. push kills off us. a few more Mutas, but look at this. We've got 21 Banelings wow, Banelings. on the way. Sep is starting his plus three, getting that combat shield. This is going to be detrimental. Those Banelings are going to hatch right when these Marines show up. And here they come. Cephas is going to get backed into a wall and loses. Whoa! He picked up his Thors with nice the Medivacs, here, drops him on the half ledge, and they cannot be touched. And actually takes some Marines on into the base as well. Wipes out a Queen. Going for some drones. Those Lings rushing in and able to save them all. This is impressive. He needs to he needs to start moving this command center here. He wants to secure that third. I don't see why he would just build a command center and forget about it. But if he doesn't move it here, while well, Zerg is pinned back trying to deal with all these stores, he'd have plenty of time to secure that base. This is crazy, and the Mutas are coming in after the Thors now. Not sure that that's such a good idea. They're able to take down one, and it looks like they might get the other one. Yes, nice, both nice, Thors nice, go nice, down. That splash damage. And the Mutas are going to be able to take out this Medivac, and it looks like Sephus has just lost everything there. And with that, I don't know. He's, he's not transitioning out. He has been making STVs for a good while here. Zerg taking that fourth base. Zerg, ooh, yeah, Zerg sneaking in a fourth there. No third down from Cephas yet. But he does have his command center morphing into an orbital. But I think if Zerg just pushes in here, this is not going to end well. 